Hi guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. This is my first WhatsApp broadcast. So this is um, exclusive to all the people who are getting the WhatsApp broadcast. At a later stage, I may share it on Facebook or YouTube, but this is really for you to say thank you for joining my WhatsApp broadcast. Okay, so what I wanted to do is do something really quite interesting today because Basically, a lot of people I speak to have palpitations and now you may or may not know, but there is an app available called Cardia, K-A-R-D-I-A. And basically, this app can be downloaded on your phone and then uh, they provide you with a phone case which has a couple of sensors which you hold when you get your palpitations. And if you hold them and press uh, on the app, you can record an ECG, a single lead ECG on your phone. So then what happens is that you can store this um, ECG on your phone and you can send it off to someone for some money and they can analyze it. But a lot of people get very anxious because when they do it, when they record it, they see their heart rate going quite fast. They don't know what it means. It looks all very squiggly. It causes a great deal of anxiety. So I thought I'd do a very quick video to te make to allow you to interpret your cardiac recordings by yourself. The Cardia app is very good for looking at atrial fibrillation, for picking up AF, okay? And AF is characterized by an irregularly irregular heart rate. So the rhythm is irregularly irregular and the heart rate can often be fast. And when you get the, when you do the uh, recording, this is the kind of tracing you get, okay? Now, if you look at this, this is really confusing. What is this? I mean, how can you tell whether it's regular, irregular, what the heart rate is? So very quickly, number one, it's worth remembering that each, the way you calculate the rate is, cal is calculate the number of big squares between two spikes, okay? Uh, and divide the number of squares, um, divide 300 by the number of squares. So here, there are two big squares between these two spikes and two big squares here. So 300 divided by two, because of the two big squares tells you that the heart rate is 150. If there were four small, four big squares between the two spikes, the heart rate would be 75. So that's how you calculate the heart rate. The second thing is, is it regular or irregular? Uh, remember, AF is irregular. And when you look at this, you think, oh my God, it's all over the place. But actually what you should do is do this. Okay, I'm going to show you what I do to tell you whether it's regular or irregular. So that what I would do is, let me just show you. I would draw, uh, take a paper and mark with a line where a spike is, mark with another line where the spike is. And now what I've done, if you look, okay, there are the spikes and if I move it along, it is completely regular. So even though this looks fast, this is not atrial fibrillation because atrial fibrillation is irregularly irregular. These two marks will not fall on the spikes as you move the marks along. And as they are, you can be confident this is not atrial fibrillation. A lot of people get worried about this kind of thing. You see where it varies the baseline. I would ignore all that. That's just artifact over here again. It's varying. It looks like there's something, but this is all artifact. The only thing you want to know is the distance between the two spikes. If the distance between the spikes is the same throughout, it is not atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation, every single distance will be different. So I hope this helps. Take care. All the best.